Hiko, Hi. Uh, welcome to this interview. Um, can you tell us a bit where you are from? Um, so I'm from this little town in Namibia, west of Namibia called Omaruru. Um, though I grew up in Wintuk, um, according to our tradition, you always have to come from somewhere, not just from Wintuk. So. What made you decide to study physics? Um, I started out with engineering at the Namibian University of Science and Technology. Was not flattered by any of the modules there except for the physics module. So when I decided to change, I decided to go for something that only specifically concentrated on physics. Mm. So uh, you finished your degree? Yes. And what are you doing at the moment? At the moment, I'm just trying to get myself familiar with doing data analysis using Python. For the future, I plan on uh, doing um, a master's and eventually a PhD in astrophysics. That's the aim. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah. Yep. Wish you all the success for it. How did you end up at, at the Hess site? Um, so I'm part of this um, astro group at UNAM and on the email group they decided to post um, that there were shifters needed at Hess and um, due to the pandemic that's going on and Dr. Bacchus who is a senior lecturer at UNAM and has some links with Hess suggested to me that I could actually use some time at Hess and since I have quite a lot of free time on my hands I assumed it would be a good idea to actually kill some time and most importantly actually gain experience. So I decided to actually apply to do shift. And, and did the time there meet your expectations? Or? Oh yeah, I, I actually was at Hess earlier before on an excursion with the development of African radio astronomers in Africa yeah. and um, so I had a little idea of what to expect though because it was just a few hours of of excursion I did not actually see the bigger picture so when I got there yep was basically surprised actually because the first time I actually even have had not seen the residence so I was a bit skeptical of the sleeping arrangements and so when I got there comfortable rooms friendly people and yeah the, 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 there was plenty of coffee so <laughs> not much to complain and um, observations themselves, did it, uh, oh, was yeah, it, was the it tough for you to get used to it? Or? Um, the first nights was actually a bit tough, especially um, getting used to the sleeping arrangement, like the, the times, um, though the body quickly adapts. Um, the, the observations themselves, the f first few days was basically just getting used to what needs to be done, um, where you um, get this done and how you get done. But after that, um, things mostly went smoothly, except for the bit of hiccups here and there. Uh, to just wrap up, is there any chance that uh, we might see you again as a shifter? Oh, we definitely. I actually probably mentioned this to every single person, actually. I mentioned this to the entire local crew. And when I actually got back, I actually also mentioned it uh, to Dr. Bacchus, who was the one who actually got me to go there in the mm -hmm. first place. So I'd actually love to get, get back there. 
Oh, that's nice to hear. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you.